I'd like to welcome you. I hope you enjoy your lunch. I'm delighted to be able to present to you today our mystery guest, <laughs> Mr. Ma, oh, Ma friend. <laughs> oh. Oh. I thought it might be useful also to give uh, Yo-Yo some kind of overview or idea of, of what we've been going through these last few days. Would anybody be willing to start this off? Thank you, Jay. I think it was the first day you mentioned something about understanding a language phonetically, but not necessarily understanding what it means. So you can understand the sounds, but not understand the meaning. Yeah. And I think for, for me personally and, and for, for our group, I think this um, workshop has really been about understanding the depth and understanding sort of the truth of Brahms, Brahms chamber music, understanding what the meaning is. Uh, because, you know, growing up in conservatories, everybody loves to sight read Brahms. But, uh, you know, it's exciting, and, um, but there's, there's, there's so much more to that. And I feel like with all of the groups, we're going from a, a much more surface level to understanding it in a, in a real and significant way. Well, that's, that's a, I take that as a compliment for both I would say yeah. so. <laughs> Pam and myself. Thank you, Jay. Interesting. Any other thoughts, comments? Sam. I think one of the ways that we're understanding this language is understanding timing and gesture. And uh, I thought it was really neat the way that you compared physical gesture of joints to timings. Um, that, that there's places in the phrase that you can you can bend things and places that you can't. Yeah. And so I think timing and, and understanding that at a deeper level has been something that, that has been, we've all talked about. That's for all cool. Of how about that? I, I, I was going to uh, try somehow to expand on that. Beautiful. Well, Pam was talking about the constricture of rhythm at certain times, right? Weren't you? Oh, just Discre now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Schnabel right well, I was calling him in on schnabelization. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't yeah. realize that was a. Kind it's an of, actual word. Yeah, now. yeah, <laughs> schnabelization. <laughs> um, and, and what do you mean by that? I'd love to kind of check to see oh. what, what you mean and, and what, uh, what your reception of that is. Well, I can, Wait, I can go through oh, the exactly. example that I, that I gave the kids. Uh, I, I think, at least for me, I've come to the conclusion that, that one of the main differences between Romantic music and classical music is a rhythmic difference of all things. And that that rhythmic, in romantic music, when you have long notes, you pass them quickly, and you go to the little notes, and you stretch the little notes, and that gives this romantic sense of timing. And in classical music, I think it's exactly the opposite. When you have a long note, it's because there is stasis, non-movement. When you have little notes, it's because it's movement. Mm -hmm. In romantic, it would be stretch the little notes and pass the long note. <laughs> Classically, that's a kind of primitive. Do you agree with example. that? Have you thought this way before? <laughs> what are they supposed to say? No, 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 no. no. I mean, <laughs> no. I, I mean, I, I think that's. I'd love to, love Our to next guest will be.
<laughs> That's yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. My time's up. Yeah. You were going to say something. Yeah, what were yeah you I, was, say? I was going to take this past or further than just bronze. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've been talking a lot about what is good rhythm or what is rhythm uh -huh. and what is time. And neither of those things are, I think, maybe what we normally think of those things. You know, we think of playing in time as playing metronomically, which is, of course, not true. And we think of rhythms as absolute entities, as mathematical, um, you know, like as if they're equations. But I think what we are discovering is that a rhythm is not a rhythm is not a rhythm. And something is either going towards something or away from something. And to answer your question about schnabelization, I think that's where the compression of distortion of rhythm comes in. That it, it has a, a rhythm has a function um, in time and that it's not, cannot be actually it, documented. Mm -hmm. um, it's not metronomic, it's not mechanical. Right. Could there is the in-timeness of every combination of tones, every piece which is unique. 